Hi, this is Jeremiah with Personify. Today, we're going to take a real quick trip through the Chroma Cam features and functions. Let's get to it. So after you've installed the application, you'll just have it open up to a sign-in screen. Just enter your username and password and click sign in. After you're signed in, the first thing you're going to see is the background screen. So these are all the backgrounds that are available to you. You'll have a small list starting out because you've got to build up your inventory. But you can see that you can also add your own backgrounds. And if I want to add in a tiki bar to my list of backgrounds, now I've got that loaded in. And there it is. Next, let's talk about filters. Filters are ways that we can replace our background with something that's maybe a little more pleasing. For example, I have a bit of a messy background here, but if I use a filter, I can obscure some of that as well. So it's not completely replacing my background, but just obscuring it slightly. Or I can, of course, return to one of my many choices for backgrounds. And there's also the ability to load PowerPoint presentations so that they also use the background removal functionality. So you have different ways that you can present right from your PowerPoint. We also have a logo section. In the logo section, you can see how you can click change to load in a new image for your logo if you like. You can turn the logo on and off right here, and you can also change its position. On the settings tab, we have the language setting, the camera setting. Now this is the setting that changes what camera you're using for your video input. Then we have a show background setting, which just simply removes the background removal functionality. Then we also have backlight correction in case you have unavoidable backlight in your background. We also have a blur intensity setting. This will uh, go from zero to six. So six being the strongest. And then we have a frames per second. I currently have it set maxed out at 30. Now the only thing you need to set up is make sure that your video calling app has Chroma Cam selected as the camera that it's going to be using. That's going to provide you with the background replacement. 